Okay. So, let's say you launch somebody in this game, and then you get your bound. You don't have enough time like you do with screws in Tekken 7 to like actually just get a nice like movement dash in. So in a lot of cases to actually get tag two to work in your favor for a lot of combos, some still do have dashes, not nearly as many as in seven where it seems like almost every single one wants a dash out of you. Uh, so let's say I launch, and here's my target combo. Um, see how far he gets away already? Uh, so it's forward, forward two, and then a one jab, and then forward, forward two, and a one jab again. And even there, I whiffed that one jab. Um, and what's more important here in this situation is that you can maybe get all of that, but your one plus two right there, the actual bound that matters the most here in this situation, um, you don't have enough time to actually dash in like Tekken 7 would want you to do. So what you actually do to try and make up for that space instead of actually moving in with a dash or even like, a micro dash like you do with like Claudio combos or whatever. Um, this game wants you to just hold forward on the controller any second you're not inputting a move and it'll actually get you that extra range. Ooh, and I drop, I dropped the death fist at the end, but I'm gonna do it without. Look at that. He's already way past me. I'll try to be like as fast as possible with the two here. He gets past me. But I'm gonna do that forward technique. <laughs> I'm gonna do the forward technique here. Ah, oh, we still don't get the death fist. Edit it one more time. So if I actually do that forward technique, holding forward after every individual hit, I connect, boom, there is your combo. You cannot make that combo happen if you don't hold forward. 